Welcome back to another episode of Bronx and Dogs, and today we're packing out in the desert. It's about to get western, boys. We're loading up the donkeys. We got the canvas cutters up in the fifth wheel. Nathan, tell the good people what they should do. Don't double grab. <laughs> I always say one hand's better than two. <laughs> <laughs> what a hand. <laughs> what a hand. Here's two other mules we're loading up. We got old Malibu with us, old Red Dead. Daniel's got some of his ponies he's bringing. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> We got old Dakota James Taylor with us. You bet. We got the intern's first pack trip. What do you got to say? Very f interesting first week. We'll, we'll show them what's good, don't worry. Today we are headed on a scouting pack trip up the Rattlesnake. After we made the drive to the trailhead, we had to decide if we were going to head up in the fading light or wait until morning. We're right here. We're going to go up here. This is where we got to get to camp tonight. Or if we stay here, we can ride it in the daylight because it's pretty narrow coming through here right off the river and there's some big embankments. Go all the way up Rattlesnake. Then we're gonna cut off and go up Flat Nose George. There should be water up here and that's where we're gonna end up. Edge of the map, baby. Woo! So it's 8.45. We're just barely getting to the trailhead here. The problem is what Dakota just said is it's pretty narrow up this canyon for a couple miles. So the question is, do we load up the pack gear Try to get a couple miles up the canyon before dark, or do we just stay here and camp the night? We got really fresh pack mules. We're not 100% sure if our packs are gonna get bucked off or not. It's some rugged country through here. We just don't wanna camp next to the river just in case a storm comes through or something. We're, we're trapped on each side of the canyon with these cliffs. We'll see what happens. If we start loading up the pack mules and they go to bucking, maybe we'll just stay here tonight. But if they do pretty good, maybe we can hurry and get up the trail in the dark. So we'll see what happens. So we're gonna pack this horse right here, and then we're gonna pack this mule over here. The reason we're packing these two is probably because they're the two greenest out of the bunch. And we'll ride the good ones tonight. So, let's get to it. Oh, boys. So that might be a problem. That's not good. The britchin's not on the saddle. It's usually on the saddle, but it's not here. We're going to be packing without a britchin. Good thing uh, the ride up the canyon will be going uphill. On the way back, hopefully we have a lighter pack. So, the britchin won't matter too much. Never a good idea to pack without a britchin. It's about to get western, boys. Yeah, buddy! Sheesh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Saturday. Okay, we got the heavy pack on. Now for the canvas cutters, this is the fun part. You can hold the canvas cutter as high up as you can. Bring it back my way. Hopefully it don't shine that in my eyes. I can't see. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got ourselves a hole. Pretty good one. Do you got sacks? We do have garbage sacks, yeah. Let's put them in garbage sacks. That'll keep them from falling out. All right, since you're tired. So it's 10:15, and we're fully loaded. We're fully packed, but we decided against going up there. The spot we were going to camp is only three miles up the road, and we decided three miles not really worth it in the dark. We got our packs balanced, so I guess in the morning we'll be able to load them up fast and get up the trail. But we're just going to unload here, camp the night on the river bottom, hop in our canvas cutters tonight, and get after it. After an eventful evening, we settled in for the night, but we had no clue what adventures were waiting for us in the morning. Last night, I was sleeping on top of a scorpion. When I rolled up my bag, he was crawling out from underneath me. <laughs> it's about 7.15 this morning. We slept in a little bit, but what a beautiful place to camp. We just laid our canvas cutters down here in the dirt this morning at the trailhead. We're heading up this canyon today. Daniel watered his pony. Morning, folks. <laughs> Twinkies for breakfast. Highly recommend. 
Thanks. Cheers, donkey. Okay, we got this pack donkey loaded up. She likes to buck a little bit, so this is gonna be interesting. Cross it again underneath the lanyards. Sound good? That ought to do it. Back horse going, everything seems to be good. Tyler's getting mounted up, he's gonna get the other pack horse out and ready to go. All right, boys, when I grab this pack mule, let's just walk down the trail. We're expecting the best and preparing for the worst. We immediately started experiencing some complications. Mules and horses were protesting. There it goes! Sheesh! Packs wouldn't stay centered. and the intern couldn't keep a hold of the mules. Somebody stay holding a horse, because if one gets away... Whoa. Just like that. <laughs> Grab it! Run clear around. Here, hold these horses. You can't. One of these. Did they all decide to face up mine? Three. As long as you got Momo. <laughs> Look at this guy over here. Look at the mule whisper. Way than I expected. Last time Momo got away, we went on like almost a week long hunt trying to get her. If I wasn't standing on a big rock, I could have really planted myself, but I just went. <laughs> <laughs> so, what happened? I'm not sure how much of it we got on camera, but we were walking up here. We were getting ready to adjust this pack saddle. These guys started getting off their mules, and their mules took off down the trail. But they turned around and came right back, so maybe there's a bear up the trail or something. I don't know. Let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs> We're having rodeos, but it ain't from the mules we expected. <laughs> it's a good thing uh, we got the old mule whisperer over here. Old Dakota whistled them ponies, came running right back. But the troubles made for a pretty entertaining morning. Whoa! Hey now. It's a good thing those canvas cutters are pretty durable because we're bringing them through the ringer. Boys, I need one last adjustment and I'm good to go. All right. Well, we got the pack horses repacked and the packs are settling a little bit better now. So uh, we'll see how it goes. We're packing up the river while everybody's floating down it. This is some thick crap, boys. Gonna head up this canyon here a little ways and we're gonna try and get up on top of these plateaus and find camp up there. It should be pretty cool. Dakota was saying there's a bunch of cowboy trails up there where uh, they used to run cattle. So we'll get up there and see what we can find. We can't be doing this! <laughs> I can't stop the son of a bitch! It's time to stop, okay? <laughs> Alright, we probably shouldn't have ran. <laughs> no, but it looked cool. <laughs> yeah, we'll put that on his. Yeah, I'm aware. Let me get around her and bring her back to you guys. Well, we stopped for a little break here, adjusted the pack saddles. We're kind of having a hard time balancing them out just because the loads are a little awkward, but 
think we got it down to a science now, so we're gonna keep going up this canyon. Let's get after it. That's a beautiful day to go for a mule ride. It is though, isn't it? Neighborhood. We need to go trot some more, I guess. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> We also got to train our animals a little as we went. First time I've ever got sand in my boot. That's why I tucked mine in. Yee doggy! <laughs> it's cool to watch him commit. Yeah. And it really does show it's, it's a, it lays up there. And we saw some pretty incredible country. We got Tyler down on the wash, the walking horse. He's out walking us, so we're taking shortcuts. Well, this stream kind of dried up on us, but we found a little puddle to give these guys a little drink. Hopefully the higher we go, the more water will be up there. Woo! Sheesh! Oh, the lizard got away. Do you see that? Oh yeah. That snake was eating that lizard, and it was just kicking back and forth. Well, we made it out of the Slot Canyon. We're here in this big canyon now. Up the trail this way, there should be a canyon that shoots off. We'll take the canyon up and see how far up we can get it. Horses are all doing good though. We just about got our packs figured out. We haven't had to adjust them in a long time. What do you think, Daniel? It's been a good day. Hot, but fun. This is some beautiful country. Cage, tell the good people of YouTube what they should do. Just like and subscribe, see more content like this. Uh, we uh, sat under this tree here for about an hour now, ate a little lunch. It's freaking hot out here. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, some shade was nice. We're letting the horses get a little bit of feed, take a little break, be back to it. Gonna head up the trail. It should fork up here, Dakota was saying. We're gonna hit that fork, maybe camp at the bottom of it. We might go up it, just depends on what time we get to it. As the bird flies, it's about four and a half miles away. But this canyon's pretty windy, so it's gonna be further than that. After lunch, we got to do a little rock climbing to find the trail. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get ledged out. It was super in slot canyon right there for a second. It looks like there's a trail that goes up to the Dang, that Spanish horse crawl up there like no problem. Always waiting on me, all right? They say waiting on a woman, but it's waiting on the cold. We should be getting pretty close to that split by now. This is some pretty country. So, looks like up here there's a fork. We're probably gonna camp at the base of this fork tomorrow. We're shooting up the left side of that fork, aren't we, Dakota? Yes, sir. It's been a fun ride. Super pretty country. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Old Dakota ain't used to riding. 
He's a hiking machine. Uh, I think the mules are too beat to go up tonight though, or too exhausted. What do you guys think? I think our riders are more exhausted than our mules. Is this your first time on a mule? First time on a mule. God, they don't like, like to listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> they don't rain worth a darn. Before we made camp, Dakota spotted something pretty awesome. Right on the skyline, these horns. Got a great big old ram laying up there in the skyline. It's pretty freaking sweet. It looks like, like a big one. He's looking right at us. And as we rode a little bit further, we spotted some more. There's at least, what, what did you say, three of them, four of them? Yeah, there's a couple of ewes in there with us. The intern here, trying to glass up his first bighorn sheep. Did I stutter? I'm blind. Coda, what do you got to say? Pretty neat ram right there. Well, we decided to bed down here. This is where we're gonna make camp. We got horses tied up over there. Got a sweet view. At this point, we were almost out of water and we weren't sure if we could make it to the top. We still had a long ride and lots of challenges ahead of us. So we're bringing 14 water bottles with us today. We're almost out of water. Yesterday I drank five water bottles, I think. So we're gonna be pushing it with the water we have. Atta girl. Well, we got ourselves wedged in a little bit. So we're uh, gonna have to find a way to get ourselves up this. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, the canvas cutters we've used in this video have become such a huge part of Bronx and Donks. You can buy one for yourself at canvascutter.com. Use the promo code MULE to get 10% off. Also, if you wanna see more content from me, head over to Dan Bronx and Donks on TikTok and Instagram. Finally, don't forget to like and subscribe to catch part two, and we'll see you next week on another episode of Bronx and Donks.